pretty much answered them all. What's the next step for you? I mean, you've already asked for everything you need. Well, it's a waiting process now. Uh, what uh, what my staff is doing is meeting with different uh, vendors uh, that have an interest uh, that can come in and do assessments uh, <coughs> of a makeover for improvements. Uh, and we want to be prepared to uh, present those to the uh, board as well as the county administrator and maintenance uh, for their uh, uh, conversation or approval. So are you getting prices? Are you gonna Are you gonna bid those out, or are you just gonna that, that wouldn't be up to me. The only thing we want to do is help with the process. Mm -hmm. uh, we we want we want to make those people available to the board. I can't sign a contract. I can't uh, I can't bid anything out, but they can. But are you gonna rec Would you recommend? We can, we can make recommendations, and that's what we're doing now. We're we're getting vendors to come in and do an assessment, to, so we can make a recommendations, make a recommendation as well as present those vendors uh, to the board, so they can ask the questions as well. One thing, I, one thing we did when we first came here, uh, and, uh, we we extended the same opportunities to each uh, board of supervisors to come out here and give this tour as well, to take this tour as well. It's one thing to stand up in front of the, the board and talk about what's going on out here. It's another thing for them to come out here and actually see it and be here. Who came out here? Uh, well, we know uh, Supervisor Graham is very familiar with the, uh, mm -hmm. with the outlay. Uh, uh, Supervisor Stokes came... Uh, after the last uh, escape, he got a chance to see parts of what you all saw. Mm -hmm. But we wanted to do a, a structured tour like we did today with all the supervisors so they can have an overall view as to what needs to be done out here. And we have yet to do that in that, in that kind of manner. Has a professional been in here that's run one of the facilities and given you, I mean, like Sheriff from Franklin County, Madison County? that has a facility, you come in here and seen this? And they have not been here, but we've been to their locations. <coughs> and, and, and I think they got a pretty good idea of what we're dealing with uh, based on looking at their uh, their facilities. That they don't need to come here. What about uh, MDOC? Because Mr. Epps has one of the best reputations nationwide for running a correctional facility. Have y'all consulted with them? Well, we, have a, we have a very good relationship with the uh, Mississippi Department of Correction, Corrections, and in particular, uh, Commissioner Epps. Uh, he advises us on a, on a daily and a weekly basis. We have constant contact with him. Most of the uh, individuals here belong to him. Are y'all going to bring him out here to let him, to give him the same tour or, uh, or invite him? If it's necessary. He's very familiar with, with the, uh, with the uh, facility itself as well. So uh, if he wants to come back, he's welcome to. I'm quite sure there's been some continuing deterioration, deterioration since he's been out here. Uh, but to answer your question about what's the next move, we're going to sit and wait. We also want to uh, ask the board to pursue uh, the going in the direction with the other cities to do their part. Uh, we house uh, a lot of prisoners from uh, surrounding cities that are not uh, paying the fees that we think they should be paying. And uh, <clears throat> when you look at the other counties, they're getting a per diem per day for their for their prisoners. This facility was designed to be a prison, uh, designed to be a jail, not a prison. And there's a difference between a jail and a prison. We're winding up uh, running a prison instead of a jail. We're not, just not equipped to run a prison. So, uh, Can you one explain of, the difference, Sheriff? Uh, you're talking about long, long term. Uh, a jail is for short term until they are sentenced or adjudicated to go to prison, uh, parchment or what, wherever. Uh, I think when you heard the count on Monday from Supervisor Fisher, I think about 84 of the uh, population of inmates here belong to Hines County itself. The other population, probably about 697, belong to the city of Jackson. How many? He, he gave um, a ballpark figure around 690 something, 670 something. And how many of the ones held here are being held without bond? And you have to hold I don't have that while. figure. It changes on a it changes on a on R a, on a hourly basis. Roughly, I, Kingfish. I don't know um, as far as whether or not they have bond. Um, exactly the number, but I can't get that for you. Okay, you good. Know what, what the number is? And tell me when you wind up running a prison, you, 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 your stakes are higher when it comes to uh, safety uh, because you have long term uh, individuals here that shouldn't be. here. Uh, if it's if it's ran like a short term jail, that would defeat some of the issues too. 
uh, take advantage of the issue you had in uh, yes, yeah, the other day with the gang fights. But that's a build up. You know, you have people that are here that shouldn't be here that's building up with issues from other inmates and things of that nature when they should be somewhere else. So if we're going to house them, we need to be paid for them as well. And if you have an increase in violent crime, say homicide, et cetera, you're going to have the judges ordering more held without bond, correct? We'd love, hey, we'd love to see that happen. Yeah, absolutely right. But it's, it's going to take a holistic approach. It's going to take the, uh, uh, the cooperation from the, uh, the prosecutors, uh, the judicial system, the DA's office, as well as the municipalities in, in Hines County to do their part. This is something we just can't do by ourselves. But I'm very, very, you know, uh, uh, want, want to encourage uh, the board to seek out the help from the different municipalities to do their part. Where does the city pay you for anything? Or is, it, is there a different structure of fees, yeah. how that works? It, it, it's uh, it's, it's going to be different from county to county. Uh, I think I saw in the paper the other day, uh, is it Wilkinson County? I was talking about going up on their fees to thirty-five dollars, from thirty dollars to thirty-five dollars. What are you getting out from, from the city of Jackson per inmate that you house up there? Say again now. From the city of Jackson, they're not paying any, none of the none of the cities in, in Hines County are paying anything right now. And you can see we, we definitely need it due to the maintenance issues that we have here. With, with, with that being said, you know we have to feed them out of our budget. Uh, we we have to transport them out of our budget. We have to take care of the medical costs out of our budget. And all this is done prior to them being sentenced or adjudicated. And they're not ours until they are sentenced or adjudicated. They still belong to those municipalities, such as the city of Jackson, who should be responsible for taking care of those needs. We want to thank you guys for coming and sharing a couple of other meetings you have to go to this afternoon. Um, thank you so much. On your way out, Sergeant Turner is going to escort you out. And we're going to return your badges.